Okay, so we're gonna do the Lucani's companion quest. So I wonder what's the quest about. Let's go and meet him. There's Hello, ladies. Rook, Ilario sent word. He's got intel on Zara. He wants to meet up. Fancy a trip to Treviso? Sounds like fun. Come on, Ilario will meet us at Cafe Pietra. It's not that far from here. We have time for he arrives. I wouldn't mind looking around a while. The markets are running. Good. I need to get some things while we're here. Treviso. I barely had time to look around when we returned from the ossuary. This place, does it feel very different? In some ways, more than I expected. But then, perhaps it's me. Ah, here. A potted plant? For Harding's garden. Spearman is supposed to calm bad dreams. It's good in desserts, too. So, you and Alario are cousins? Yes, but we're more like brothers. Katarina took us both in a long time ago now. Here's the place. Velara mentioned the daily seafood recipe she wants to make. The demon of Virantium is grocery shopping for the team. Have you seen what they eat? It's a miracle you didn't all starve before you hired me. When we met, it didn't seem like Elario and Katerina were close. It was hard to be close to her, even for me. And I was her favorite. A good selection. Fresh fruit. Nev only eats fried fish. You'd think a detective would have discovered scurvy by now. Is that everything on the list? Yes, and Ilario should be here by now. Let's go before he gets himself in trouble. You can't buy something for everyone but yourself. Here, this is for you. A wyvern tooth dagger? I loved wyverns as a boy. Katarina would never let me have one of these, though. How to go, ah? Oh, okay. Cafe Pietra is just ahead. That's where we're meeting your cousin? Why not the casino? House Cantori has many talents. Making coffee is not one of them. Finally! I thought you might leave me here all by my lonesome. Please, you think I'd ever pass up Cafe Pietra's coffee? You see, Rook? My cousin is our stomach and no heart. Don't mind him. Ilario cannot appreciate anything but himself. They serve a specialty roast here. Andural's breath. Bitter and sweet, like a kiss goodbye. You should try it. You just described my dream cup of coffee. <laughs> so, is there a reason we're not talking about Ilario's information or what? We're still being spied on. No, the last one just left. Couldn't take your coffee talk. So, you have something? The crows I sent after Sara have picked up her trail. They say she's gone to Varantium. We could be in Virantium in no time with the Eluvian. It won't matter. 
Zara's not in Verantium. You have better information? We're compromised. There's no other way Zara could even touch Katerina. You need your eyes here, in Antiva. Zara would never be foolish enough to stay. Not with you out for blood. Of course she would. If the crows protecting her are here. Rook, reason with him, would you? He's been paranoid. I am not paranoid. She came after me. She came after Katerina. She will come for you too. If it'll make you feel better, a clean house, all right? Leave it to me. He's gone. Of course he is. Ilario always caves under pressure. Your cousin only seems to hear about one word in ten. He's always been this way. He hears what he wants to hear. <sighs> Bitter and sweet, you called that blend? Like a kiss goodbye. So, what would a first kiss be? Honey and lavender cream. Sweet. Intriguing. And you? How would you describe it? Every kiss is different. Sometimes a unique pleasure should be just that. That sounds like the voice of experience. I've always thought that to live truly is to live fully. But even before I was captured, my life was not really my own. So much had been determined for me. Being grandson to the first Talon must come with a lot of baggage. And when I proved I could carry it, the expectations only grew. It can't have been easy. But it's forged a man of strength and principle. That's no bad thing. Not when I hear that from you. How's your coffee? Dark, complex, and intriguing. Ready to head back to the lighthouse? Almost. Rook, do you have a minute? Of course. Something wrong? Thea wants to meet. Well, that doesn't sound like a bad thing. She wants to plan Katerina's funeral. Oh, right. If you don't mind, I could use some backup. In case Spike gets out of hand. Let's not keep Thea waiting. How is he? It is good to have found Darren's house. Good, you're here. Thank you for making the arrangements, Thea. For Katerina? How could I do otherwise? I'm so sorry, Lucanis. This must be such a blow. Rook, thank you for coming with him. I need Juan de la Morte to plan this. His cousin has been no help at all. I'm sorry, Thea. This is just... too much right now. What do you need us to do? There's a lot to plan. But first, I need the ashes. Ashes? Make it help us. Yes, the ashes. Katerina's ashes. From the cremation? Oh, yes. Of course. I'll get them to you right away. Hilario, what happened? What do you mean? Katerina, how? How did the Venatori get to her? When? Where? In the estate? In the city? How did they get past our people? What did they use? Poison? Blades? I need to know. Cousin, stop. You can't dwell on this. It'll drive you mad. I'm not dwelling. Zara killed the first Talon. I have to know how if I'm going to stop her. I told you, I'm handling it. 
Boys, enough of this. We have other things to discuss. My apologies, Andratea. Continue without me. I'll get you the ashes. Something's going on with him. I don't know what. When he's not on the job, my cousin always has his head in the clouds. Hilario can be a handful, but this? The only time I've seen him like this was when Lucanis died. You're worrying, aren't you? What will people say if they hear the demon of Virantium has a big, soft heart? He's been careless at times, but never when his own life was on the line. Zara took down the first talon. Anyone could be next. And my cousin doesn't want to think about it? You have a point. It's not like Hilario to ignore a knife coming at him. What do you need from me for the funeral? Come. I'll get us some drinks and we can make the arrangements. Our house owes you for handling all of this. Caterina was family. Can you imagine what she'd say if she saw us all like this? She'd be furious, especially at Hilario, as usual. I barely know your cousin, and he already seems like trouble to me. Oh, he is. I've lost count of the times I've had to pull him out of the fire on the job. He's a good assassin. Most jobs don't have as many fires as yours do. I'll have my people keep an eye on him for you. Thank you, Thea. Go on. I'll let you know if something comes up. I can feel like Ilaria is hiding something. Maybe she's working with Zara. I don't know. It's like backstep. Maybe uh, Ilaria knows that uh, Lucan is back and maybe he hiding, hide, you know, uh, their grandmother somewhere. Because the, the way the way Tia say the ashes, they like, what? The ashes? What do you mean? Uh, it, it's very weird. Uh. It's very weird. Chapter of Ophidian Hall. Read it now. Okay, so it's time to do the main quest. I am Jowin Glastrum, First Warden and Supreme Commander of Weishaupt. I received word of your team's request for Grey Warden assistance after an incursion of the Blight at Demeter's Crossing. Explain yourself, Warden, and bear in mind that the Order remembers your past recklessness. Many lives would have been lost if not for my recklessness. You destroyed a building. To seal off a Darkspawn tunnel to the surface. In defiance of orders. Those orders were wrong, sir. Your report, Junior Warden. I was part of a team trying to stop an elven mage named Solus from destroying the Veil. When we disrupted his ritual, something escaped from the Fade, and I clearly sensed the corruption of the Blight. From this mage, Solus? No, sir. Solus opposes the Blight. He's actually an elven god, Fenharel, the Dreadwolf. I did not come here to listen to fairy tales. I am here because of the Blight. Right, but it all ties together. See, when we disrupted the ritual, Solus got trapped in the Fade. But two of the Elven Gods got out. Elganan and Gilanane, we think. And they're blighted. Why would Elven Gods be blighted? The ancient Elven Gods used the Blight. That's why Solus imprisoned them. The point is that the Gods are making the Blight worse. Demeter's Crossing was just the start. That's why we need the Grey Wardens. I suspected more politicking from the remnants of the Inquisition. I see now that I was wrong. I'm really glad to hear that. It is clear that whatever you did to unleash the Blight has corrupted your already weak mind. <sighs> okay, wait. You will be taken to Weishaupt and placed under heavy guard until the danger you caused by unleashing the Blight passes. That's not gonna happen. I assure you, 
It will. We don't have time to fight. I need Grey Wardens marching with me, not at me. That's the only way we have a chance to stop the gods and the Blight. Let me tell you something about the Blight. It is evil, it is implacable, and above all, it is predictable. The Blight has not changed in over a thousand years. The Grey Wardens will defeat it, as they always do. And we will do so without a disgraced Junior Warden causing needless confusion. I suggest you come along quietly. Adamant Fortress 941 Dragon. The Grey Wardens attempted to raise Dragon. an army of demons. Hardly the models of good Hold judgment on. yourselves. He's either. from the Inquisition. Everyone knows Warden Commander Clarell acted alone at Adamant Fortress. Acted alone, you say? Imagine if everyone were to see the letter I discovered where you authorize her actions. I wonder how that might complicate the narrative. Are you prepared to risk the security of the Grey Wardens for this deluded girl? You may be surprised to learn that I care very little about the security of the Grey Wardens. Stay away from the Blight and do not pester the Grey Wardens with any more of your nonsense. He seems upset. Was it something I said? Guys, it's him, Dovin from uh, Dragon Age 3 in the Inquisition. Oh my goodness. He looks so different. Wow. That was close. Wasn't looking forward to being dragged off to a Grey Warden dungeon. Who should I be thanking for the assist? Magister Dorian Parvis, at your service. A mutual friend thought you might require some support. Mavaris Talani, of the Shadow Dragons. The very same. What's your relation to the Shadow Dragons? About a decade ago, Mavaris and I started a political faction called the Lucerni. We were going to change to Vinter for the better. Everyone would recognize the common sense benefits of our approach, and we'd all live happily ever after. I take it that didn't happen. Mavaris was framed, kicked out of the Magisterium, and the Lucerni were dissolved. So she took the movement underground. The Shadow Dragons. Since I still haunt the Magisterium, that makes me the Shadow Dragon's man on the inside. I think we made an enemy of the First Warden today. Well, more you than me. He just thinks I'm a dangerous idiot. Ha! Enemy? I've ignored greater men. No Grey Warden worth the name sits in a Menrathus lounge sipping wine. You need the Wardens? Look for the ones out there fighting the Blight. In the meantime, the Shadow Dragons will keep a close watch on the Venatori. Good luck. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. Only the Veil stood between us and a world of blighted darkness. But on this side, the gods could only tap a trickle. They had to turn that trickle into a flood. They sure could have used Solus's dagger to rip open the Fade. But some foolish mortal had taken it. So, they'd have to create a dagger of their own. Drowning the world in blight was just a matter of time. I need to talk to Varric. We turn to the lighthouse. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait, that dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. 
No, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I have. Plenty. Ever since it hurt Harding. Remember that story I told you? About me and Hawk? Meredith and Orsino? How the trouble started in Kirkwall? On our expedition to the Deep Roads, that's what we found. That's what my brother tried to kill us for. An idol made of red lyrium. That sang a song which drove anyone who heard it mad. Are you sure it's the same thing? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one, not even the dwarves in Orzammar, work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? You seem a little more comfortable with your new abilities. How are you feeling? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. <laughs> you think they'll talk to us? No. After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try? I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. <laughs> 